In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get access to WAN 2.2 Animate, which lets you take an image of a person or character and you can then control their movement through a driving video. And there are two options with this model. There is Animate and Replace. So Animate will take your driving motion video and apply it to an image, keeping everything the same. Then Replace will take the character or person in your image and swap it in for the person in the driving video. And so to get access to these, it can be done either locally via Comfy UI or where the model is being hosted on a website. I've tested all of these options and I'm going to show you briefly how to use all of them along with some of my thoughts so you can decide what is the best option for you. So to install Comfy you want to head to comfy.com and then you want to hit download and then you can choose either Windows or Mac. I have a Windows here. You then want to go to Comfy UI Manager and go to GitHub and then to download this, you just want to copy uh, this line here, paste it into the terminal, hit enter and it should download. If you have problems with that, there are other uh, methods to install this. Once you then load up Comfy, you want to go over to templates and type in WAN. You then want to go over to this one here, click it and and you'll be presented with a missing models uh, tab and you just want to download all of these which are the models for the WAN 2.2 animate workflow. Once those have began downloading you'll be able to see them up here. Uh, it took a little bit of time about 30-45 minutes for me. If you then reopen the WAN uh, workflow in the templates you'll then get this missing nodes uh, notification and this is why we installed Comfy UI Manager. So you click on manager at the top here and then click on install missing custom nodes and then you just want to install all of these which should take you know a couple of minutes not very long once you've done that you just want to restart a uh, comfy ui and then you'll be uh, ready to start using the workflow i'm not going to go into too much details about how to use everything in the workflow uh, i will drop a video to a link uh, to another video that goes into a bit more depth but i'm just going to show you basically uh, the basics and how you get started so if you zoom in here this is basically the, the width and height for the video currently it's uh, like a one by one you probably want to run this at about 720p then if you go down here you have uh, your section for uploading your reference image uh, pretty simple self-explanatory and then the same for video once you've then done that you can then hit run and it will generate the video um, for me my PC struggled with this it took about 20 minutes um, and then if you want to actually use the uh, replace feature you want to basically unlink the pose video and also the background video from each other then this can be confirmed if you just scroll down to the bottom here and it will just reinstate those instructions and then you obviously would just press run again and then now I'm just going to go into the three different websites you can use so the first one is uh, Higgsfield I love this website because you get access to a load of image models and also video models as well as some other features to access the uh, WAN 2.2 animate model you just want to go on to video and then go down to here and it's called Higgsfield animate it's kind of hidden you then get the choice of using either uh, replace or animate and then you can choose the resolution so if you're using replace again it's just uploading your image here and video um, and then animate it's just the same thing I actually ended up producing uh, different videos of me basically in the chair uh, I used nano banana to like swap me uh, out of the video with somebody else and then was just using the uh, animate feature this took quite a while I will say the generations also take like 10 15 minutes some inconsistencies i think just make sure you've got a clear background uh it seems to be like if you look on the rock here it's got some like hair here i don't know what that what happened there in terms of credits you're looking at 69 credits here it's it, i find that the best thing to do is to run at a lower resolution just to check that it kind of is kind of what you want before running at higher resolution where you burn more credits. I actually don't mind using Higgsfield with this interface. I have one of their creator plans and so I don't think this is, is too bad. The next place to access it is enhancer.ai. Uh, this platform is uh, great for consistent characters, realism, if you're really into producing um, AI images of people. This is a great website for that. Also like great upscaler as well without sort of creating that AI smoothness and they also have a WAN 2.2 animate so you want to go over to tools and then you want to go on animate here and again you've got character swap and photo animate character swap is um, the replace photo animate is the animate again source video and character images 
resolution options, uh, actually get some portrait options, uh, portrait and landscape options here, uh, and then just create the video at the bottom. So you see here. Okay, okay, um, so this is a test. So that is character swap, the replace, and then you've got the animate here, which is taking this video and, and animating this character. Again, the generations on and hard. So they took about 15 minutes, quite a long time, seems to be a recurring thing on all of the platforms. Very difficult to get quick generations with this. Hopefully they'll speed it up over time. Again, this is part of the subscription. Uh, on the creator plan here, uh, you get access to this. Uh, and then finally is WAN.video. Uh, this is actually the official WAN uh, website you can just check their twitter if uh, you want to just um, make sure it is because i know some of these websites look a bit sussy because they're kind of made by the chinese companies and they just look a bit weird with the font and stuff and so to access this you want to go down to the bottom here hover over here click video click avatar um, and then you've got a uh, character swap and photo animate uh, so if i go on character swap again adding the target video adding the character images <clears throat> i actually think this is the best value place and actually got the quickest generations at around eight nine minutes if you go on their membership plans and just do a month you can pay for a month at six dollars fifty and get 300 credits which will get you about 10 12 generations on the pro but if you sign up for this you can get basically unlimited credits it just takes longer and i actually found like these this website produced the most consistent visuals so basically if you look down the bottom here if you go on standard or pro i assume that like the pro version is basically just higher quality as you can't define that probably more steps and then if you click here you can go generate with credits which basically does it quicker or you can uh, generate without credit i did a little bit of both where i wanted some quick generations and and some i did without so i would like run some free some paid because otherwise i was just burning through credits you can do three concurrent generations as well on enhancer i basically because the tool because it takes so long i was trying to figure how do I like generate as much as possible? Enhance, you just open up different tabs. I'm not actually sure uh, how many concurrent generations you can do at once. I think as many as you want. Higgsfield, I believe, is uh, three. Uh, I'm actually on the creator plan here or, or the ultimate, I can't remember. Concurrent generations here, I'm not exactly sure. But in order to get access to WAN 2.2 on Higgsfield, I believe to get access to it on Higgsfield, you just need to have a basic plan. But on the basic plan, you only get 150 credits. You'll burn through those. Best value for money plan is either the pro or the ultimate. Quite a lot of money. But Higgsfield is one of my favorite all-in-one platforms along with FreePick. It's what I use for most of my generations just because when models launch, they get access to them straight away. And you can just, uh, yeah, access all them. And they're not too expensive. Like you've got one 2.5, Kling 2.5, Google VO3, VO 3.1 coming soon. You've got Sora 2. They also have all of this like cool, like just sort of VFX camera transitions and motions, which uh, the other ones don't have. Um, and so yeah, hopefully that just gives you an idea of how you can access WAN 2.2 Animate and I will be making more videos like this every week.